Hello. I was just doing some reading. I, I read a lot because I'm a very smart man. Today I'm going to teach you how to write a novel. It probably seems a little daunting at first to take on a project like that. How do you even tell your story and break it down into the pieces that will allow other people to see the beauty in it that you yourself see? I'm going to teach you the ins and outs so that at the end of this, I feel like you'll be able to write your own novel and be a successful paid writer like I hope to be someday. Uh, one of the first things that people say to me is they say, um, Jim, how do I write a novel? And this is how you do it. Let's say you're uh, writing like a John Grisham style uh, legal thriller. What you're going to need is a main character and your main character is going to need, need a name. You're going to need to name the guy. And I suggest you name him Gary. So now you've got your main character. Most of the work is now done. A lot of times, uh, fellas will like to go out with ladies. And that's true even in fiction. So you might give him a love interest. And she's going to need a name, too. And I'm going to say uh, her, her name is Donna. So now you've got Gary and Donna. You are halfway home. Um, we want inclusivity now. So you might want to add like an ethnic character to it. Somebody to kind of give the thing a little spice, a little flavor. Uh, so I'm going to say Timothy. Uh, Timothy is your ethnic character and he's fun. And uh, they learn a lot from him and he learns a lot from them. And uh, we're all the richer for it. Now, one of the traps you can fall into is that in real life, sometimes people will have pets. And so um, you might want your character to have a pet as well. If you do that, though, you got to know that character is also going to need a name. And now you've already used most of the names. So um, maybe this character has a dog. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to suggest Gary for the dog. I don't think we've used that yet. So the name of the dog is Gary. And now, now you've got a dog in the, in the thing. Um, uh, you could also give him a cat. Um, but I don't recommend it. Not, not a dog and a cat. I know sometimes in real life people will have a dog and a cat, but it almost never works in fiction. All of your best uh, movies and TV shows and books with people in them are always people who have like one pet. Um, I can't think of one fictional character that ever successfully pulled off the, uh, the, the double dog or the double cat or the cat dog, which is all technical, a technical way of saying more than one animal. Anyway, I look forward to reading your novel, and um, you're welcome.